In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test your programmed template in ABT site room programming editor. This is important for testing your template before you activate it and then apply it to a couple of controllers in ABT site. For testing your application, you need first to set uh, the IP settings of the controller in your testing environment. And this is done in the room programming editor. If you go to device configuration, you select the controller, you see in the property, the backnet interface settings. I have set here the backnet settings and the IP address for my testing infrastructure, the controller I'm going to connect with. And please check also here the other backnet settings like the UDP port and so on. As soon as this has been uh, set and prepared, we are able to connect to the device. First of all, we need also to configure the device with the backnet settings. And this is done with on the controller here with a right click in the context menu, extend the download to device. This is the first time you're connecting to a controller uh, always required to configure the device. As soon as you have configured the device once, you are able just to connect and go, down, uh, go online on the controller directly without this extended step. But first of all, we need now to configure the controller. This takes a couple of seconds and as soon as the controller is back online again and gives us the message configured here, we are able to load it in. I will pause the video quickly until the controller is back and ready for the load. So the device uh, identified itself as configured now and it's ready for the load. So I can start loading now the controller with my application template. And here the download starts for the controller. Also here, this will take a couple of seconds and I will pause the video until we are ready. The tool has now checked all the preconditions and is ready for the load. And this is also here with that dialog. We are just in pressing the load button to initialize the loading process. Also here again, it needs a couple of seconds. I will pause the video until we can continue with our instructions. The tool has now downloaded the application to the controller and we are ready to go in online for our testing. We have two possibilities to go online. One is the room segment editor we see here and we are also able to go online with the CFC plans. I will first show you how to go online with the room segment editor. Simply by pressing here the menu bar, go online, we are changing into online mode and connecting to the controller. You see here the orange indication at the top, which says this uh, data is now online on the controller. And you see also directly a change in the columns of the editor, as we show now the most important online data of the objects and of the points in our room segment editor. If I change now here the value slightly on my demo rack, then you see also immediately here the change in the present value. And I'm also able to change here and overwrite the data directly in the tab in the table um, with uh, the indications here. I'm also able to overwrite here, for example, the output value of the valve just by typing in here a value and pressing enter this override has applied to the application. I'm also able here to check out the different data of the peeling devices. So if I'm opening here the drop down menu, I see directly the values coming from that peeling devices. The same applies also for the lighting application and the other applications. If I open up here the, the, the tree, then I see here the further values of the application. So that's the online capability of the room segment editor. 
and for going offline uh, of course we can then simply press here the button go offline and we are offline again let's now see how to go online on the cfc plans for this we go to one of the cfc plans i choose here the variable speed fan i go with the context menu show in program and we are directly navigated to the blocks here the block exists two times once in the hvac fan that's where we want to go with our uh, cfc plan now and then also in the room coordination there is also the same function block available but we will use here now the one in the cfc plan of the fan then here we have the block available and by pressing now here the button for monitoring we are starting the online mode and also here we have the orange indication that we are online now and if i'm now hovering over a connection uh, in the cfc plan i'm getting the online value indicated as a pop-up i can also uh, change the visibility of the online value on a pin so for example here on the input of the process value i can do a right click say go for test and then i see here that value always visible even if i go to another value i can do that also on a couple of pins always to say okay go for test and then the value always remains as it is also here i can do the same either hover over it or go for test and then i see the values so that's the online capability on the uh, cfc chart for going offline again i just simple set here the monitoring again to off and that's how i can test the code and the data flow in the cfc with the online mode